Hi, my name is Peggy Ambler. I'm a yoga therapist. This is uh, an example of what a more active practice would look like when it's available to you. I'm going to run through some sun salutation and warrior poses. And the koi pound in the background is just to help you feel more sense of ease even though it's more of an active practice. So we're going to start at the top of the mat with the feet hip, uh, hip distance apart. This is your mountain pose. Inhale, bring your arms up, look up, maybe look back. As you exhale, forward fold, bend your knees as much as you need. Inhaling, halfway lift, lengthen the spine and pulling your belly up and in. Exhale, fold. Draw the right leg back into your lunge, runner's lunge, or you could drop the knee if that feels better. You could also move this leg out to the side if you need. Bringing that front leg back to meet the other knee or foot. So your, your pose here could be with the knees up or down. As you exhale, lower to the mat. Inhale, cobra pose. Dropping the shoulders away from the ears, using the strength of your back here. Exhale, lower. Inhale, push up and back. downward dog. Step or hop the feet forward to your forward fold. Inhale, rise up. And exhale, hands to heart. That's half of a sun salutation. We'll do that again. Sun salutation A. Inhale, reaching the arms up. Maybe also back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, releasing towards the ground. Even let your head hang heavy. Stepping the left leg back. That left knee can be up or down. And you might also even raise the arms up. Exhale, back down. Bring that front leg back to meet the back foot. Here, your knees can be up or down in your plank pose. Soften the bend in the elbows and bring those elbows toward each other like you're squeezing a beach ball underneath. Lift the belly up and lower the hips down. Exhale, lower to the mat. Inhaling, cobra. Using the strength of your back, not just pressing with your hands. So you might even lower your body back down. See if you can lift the hands up off of the mat. As you exhale, lower. Inhale, push up. Exhale, push back to downward facing dog. Take a few breaths here. And your knees can be bent if you need. You could also have your feet further apart or closer to your body. And then you can step or hop forward. If you like to step forward, but it's not quite available to you, then just drop down to your knees and help that leg get back through. Once you step forward, making sure the feet are far enough apart that you're balanced when you come back to your forward fold. Inhaling all the way back up. Exhaling hands to heart. Step your right leg back and turn your foot so that you're kind of a three quarters turn or the toes come in about 15 to 20 degrees. Bend through the front knee. So let's find a little bit of a lunge here. Moving in and out of that lunge and maybe also finding some rotation. Kind of lubricating the joints. And then hold, bend that knee. You want the knee to be over the ankle. And you want the pinky toe side of that back foot to be gripping the mat, making both legs very active. Let the arms float up to a T-shape. Warrior pose. Virabhadrasana two, warrior two. 
Maybe you can hold here for a few breaths and look out over the front middle finger. Move to a side angle as you exhale. Inhale back to warrior two. Exhale, reverse warrior. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, coming back down, bringing that leg back to your downward facing dog. Knees can be straight or bent. Stepping that opposite leg through. Finding some lunge work here. So moving in and out of your poses, I think helps lubricate the joints and have the muscles be ready. Bending through that front knee and having it over the ankle, turn the back foot three quarters turn or 15 degrees in with the toes. And the front toe is pointing 90 degrees straight forward. Finding some rotation as well. And then holding here, let the arms float up. Relaxing the shoulders away from your ears. As you exhale, side angle pose. Inhale back to warrior two. Exhale, reverse warrior. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, cartwheel back down. Find your plank pose here. While you're in plank, building strength through your arms by bending in the elbows and squeezing the elbows toward each other. Holding here, scooping your belly in, dropping your hips down. Maybe you can lift one leg or the other. Maybe even finding an arm balance. So coming into a squat position, taking the feet apart, placing the hands in front of you. Think about that strength that we just did, that strength practice where we had the elbows bent and you're engaging your chest, engaging your arms. And the key here is to let those knees balance on the arms or even up into the armpits. And you can start to move forward and maybe lift one leg or the other. Or maybe you can lift both. Try that from the side. Everybody knows this as crow, um, crow but it's, it's crane if the knees are to the side of the arms. It's crow when the arms are up in the armpits and resting on the, on the elbows. Let's come back down to the mat. crisscross applesauce and if if you are used to um, a dominant side everybody is try sitting with the opposite leg in front or on top inhale the arms reach up exhale lean to the right find a few stretches here opening the side body keeping that opposite hip planted on the mat Maybe looking up towards the sky and breathing in and breathing out. Inhaling back to the center, exhale to the other side. Keeping that opposite hip planted on the mat. Maybe looking up towards the sky. for sharing your yoga practice with me today. Remember to take a little rest, maybe in Shavasana, lying on your mat, or maybe as a seated meditation posture.